Welcome to Florida Geographic Metadata Explorer. With this Metadata Explorer, you can search, browse, and download data from the Florida Geographic Data Library, known in the GIS world as FGDL. FGDL is a mechanism for distributing spatial GIS data throughout the state of Florida. The FGDL is warehoused and maintained at the University of Florida's GeoPlan Center. So to start, we have a list of files that we need to help bring segmentation violation to Florida. We're going to look at airports, major roads, lodging facilities or hotels, civic center locations, and the statewide county boundaries as well as city limits. With the Metadata Explorer open, let's view simple searches. We're going to type the area that's listed on your lab, or I guess the name that's listed on your lab, in bold and inside the parentheses. So C-N-T-B-N-D. All right. We don't have to type a date. I'm just going to type that, and we're going to come up have 12 results or records. Scroll down, you see all different types of data. The date is when the layer was added to FGDL or updated. So you can see a lot of it is housed from the Census or Florida's GeoPlan, the National Institute for Literacy if we're looking at literacy rates in Florida. For someone brand new to GIS, data like this can be a little overwhelming, so that's why your instructors are here to help today. We're going to use CNTBND underscore July 11 just like we said it's listed in the lab okay you can click download or you can click view details I'm gonna right click on view details and then open I'm going to click view details and this is going to give me a little uh, option to look at a little a subset of the metadata. You can also click view metadata if you'd like to see more. You have the option to click download from here. So I can see from this small image that this is what I'm looking for. I can go back. That's something I've just learned recently is that you actually can't go back. It'll take you to the home page. So once you're in here, you either view full metadata or you download. Let's download. Like most of you, mine downloads here. I'm going to open the containing folder and then I have several versions of this. So let's copy that and then I'm going to move it to where I'm storing my week, week 6 data. It's in my MOOC folder, demo. I'm going to paste it, double click and then here it is. You're going to need to extract all of these because they're all hosted as a zip file. I'm going to remove the two. ArcGIS does not necessarily like folders that have parentheses in them. I'm not even sure it can work with that. So I'm going to delete my original zip file, save space, and then within this county boundary folder we have all the different files that make up a shape file. Your projection file, remember you just learned about that. You have your um, FGDC, this is going to be your metadata here. You have a DBF, this is going to be your attribute table, your database file. You have an SHX, I'm not 100% what that does, but it is required for your shapefile to go to run properly. And then you have your .shp. Because there are so many files associated with each shapefile that you think of as complete, your instructors here at UWF always encourage you to move files within our catalog. That way, especially if you were to have like, let's say, 20 different files in this one folder, it might it's hard sometimes to make sure that you're grabbing every single file if you need to move and if you don't have your SHX file then your .shp is not going to run at all so keep that in mind and always use our catalog to safely move files so let's close this let's go back to search and let's do one more we're looking at civic centers that's going to be very important for the band let's just type in you can do civic center you're going to get four records uh, Civic Centers in Florida 2011. Well, let's look at the details. And this is going to give us amphitheaters, um, Florida venues, places from Ticketmaster. So this is exactly what we needed. Scroll down. You can see the projection. It's Albers Conical Equal Area. Remember, you learned about that a few weeks back in projections. So click Download again, and you're going to do the same process by moving it to your working folder you can probably also set this up to go there directly and then exporting the file 
Again, do this process for each one of the files listed. Airports, major roads, hotels, we have civic centers, we have our county boundary, and then for city limits. Good luck and happy searching.